Petty Cash by Craig Petty. Is it a winner? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Petty Cash by Craig Petty. I picked it up at Blackpool all the way back in February and I've been performing it pretty much at every gig since. It's one of my new go-to pieces, but I'm going to go through what I like, what I don't like, all my thoughts on it, let you know, answer all the questions that I've seen online and hopefully make you more informed when you're making a decision. So let's carry on and get into it and talk about what you get when you order Petty Cash. You've paid your money, Petty Cash shows up, it comes in the really cool box with the cartoon sort of um, Only Fools and Horses style packaging that you might have seen, you know, the images and the graphics. And then as well, inside it, you get three envelopes, you get the poker chips that you've seen, so I get one of them out here, so they're really good quality poker chips, they're proper, like, hard poker chips they feel like genuine poker chips they have a 20 a 10 and a 5 so you get them you get everything that you need you get the the stickers out there that you've seen in, in some of the performances as well so that's all they're given to you you also get some blank ones so instead of having it printed like you will be 20 you can write that out yourself so that you can have that there for you as well so you don't have to have it printed it can look like you wrote it which is also a nice touch so you get all that you get the packaging you get the link to the instructions you get the three envelopes there Good quality, good quality envelopes. I, I've been using these for a good while, and you can see that they're they're a bit dinged up and things, but overall they've been holding up well for something that's been in my case and been in my pocket and just been used throughout in uh, many gigs. So for three envelopes, they've been holding up quite well. I think they're quite good. Uh, not not too too grimy, looking after a lot of gigs gig work with them. So that's what you get. You get the envelopes. You get the you get the poker chips. You don't get the money which is a pity, but I guess that's more than the price of the trick. But you get everything else you need, just buy your own money, set it up, and you're ready to go. So now let's move on to the instructions when you get Petty Cash. The instructions for Petty Cash are shot in the Alex Sam studio. It's about 40 minutes long. You get Craig and you get Peter Nardi together, and they discuss the initial routine and just some other ideas that Peter's had, different presentational styles, how to do it on stage, how to do it close up as well, the, the normal performance style that you expect. But the lovely idea is how to do this power to make it stand up with little stands and that sort of stuff. So there's lots of ideas there going through it. Uh, Craig and Peter have great chemistry, having worked together on a number of projects. They really bounce off each other as you're going through it. So you get quite a lot from them. It's like two people jamming an idea together as well as it being quite structured. So you get through everything. It being only 40 minutes long, it's fine that you can sit down and watch it through. Within the first few minutes, you know how to do the trick. It's very covered. So within like five, 10 minutes, you're able to just go out and perform it. But there's nice little nuances and presentational ideas uh, throughout. So it's definitely worth watching the 40 minutes as you go through it. So there are the instructions. It's shot straight on and there's over overhead shots. It's absolutely fine. There's a little bit of sort of muffling on microphones occasionally, but that's just not, not too distracting. It's absolutely fine. So that's with the instructions, good quality as you expect from Alakazam, teaches you everything, it's very clear. It's uh, quite a easy enough trick to teach because once you have the idea, you know what to do and it's mainly about your own presentation that you put into it. So the instructions are great, nothing to worry about. If you get it and you watch instructions, you'll know exactly what you're doing. So now let's move on to whether I think this one is a difficult trick or not. Is petty cash difficult? No, it's incredibly easy, it's pretty much self-working like it's craig's mentioned it in a few places so i think it's okay like it is a multiple out effect um and what's nice about it is that it's a multiple out effect that makes the audience thinks it's a multiple out effect and then makes them think it's not a multiple out effect so it really does cover itself so nobody has any idea which works really well but it's incredibly easy to do once you know the outs you can do it all of them hit strong very easy so your presentation you play with the audience if, if you're that sort of person who can make it psychological you can mess with them it's it's mainly about how you present it it's the most difficult thing to think of rather than anything to do with the actual trick it's incredibly easy to do anyone could do it beginners to professionals so is, is it difficult not at all so now let's move on to the frequently asked question what i've seen about petty cash the frequently asked question is people grabbing at props if you're performing it i've been performing this since february i've never had an issue nobody looks at it because of the way the multiple out premise set up the outs that you show all say the same like it shows you will pick the 20 everywhere 
that's the only out that they think of, and that's all they want to look at. So there's no there's no suspicion on any of the things that you have. So they don't want to grab on anything. I've performed this hundreds of times. Like I've done it at every group at multiple events and had a, no one ever even think about looking at anything outside of the out that I've shown them. So if that's something you worry about, don't worry about it at all. The other thing is just about the fact that you have the poker chips, you have the envelope, you have the money. Is it, what's the purpose of everything? It really works into it in your presentational style. You can talk about how each of these things are influencing people in different ways at presented. So it's really on you as a performer to justify what you're using, but it's very easy to justify poker chip and money. The poker chip represents the money. The envelope is there and it just makes it all work out. And even saying like, is there 20 poker chips? So you know that the yellow envelope is 20 because you want to psychologically do it. So it makes sense. It's absolutely fine. So just don't worry about it. Go out, perform it. It's all about your presentation. You style it and people will be absolutely blown away. So let's move on to if there's any little things that I don't like about Petty Cash. There's very few things I don't like about Petty Cash. It's something that I've been performing. Like it's in my repertoire. I carry, I carry with me. So it's it's definitely something I like because of for that reason. The only things that have maybe slight improvements I could see, it would be nice to get some spare envelopes because like I haven't used these in a while. They're still fine for now, but like in a year's time, two years' time, it would be nice to be able to get these exact color envelopes because they do match in well with the poker chip and that sort of thing. So I think that would be nice. Also, the the tabs here came quite sticky. So if you don't have them perfectly folded like this, sometimes you might have even seen here, they like overlap each other. And because they were sticky, they actually stuck together and I had to like carefully take them apart. So them not being sticky would be nice, but these are really just like, it's not nitpicking really to find stuff because this is one of my go-to pieces now. It's something I use all the time. I actually don't use this as an opener because I think it's a bit of a longer routine. I like my openers to be, I use Wave, something a bit faster, but I definitely, it's definitely something that I perform a lot. So they're the only really things that I, would say are nitpicky not likes but besides that absolutely really like this so now let's move on to the rating for those of you who watched my reviews before you know that my ratings aren't scale of one to ten or anything it's where i go for this this is in my close-up case i carry in my inside in my outside jacket top pocket it's there all the time i use it pretty much in every gig i use it table hopping walk around it's great it sits in my close-up case and zip compartment waiting to go take it out start of a gig goes in there stays there all night so that for me is it's a go-to uh, piece of mentalism that I perform close up. What's nice about it is that you can perform it in a louder environment. It's colorful, it's visual, which is something that you always struggle with in mentalism products. That's why I like using it. It's a mentalism close-up trick that works in any environment. So that's my rating for Pepsi Cash. It is the perfect close-up or even parlor, but for me, close-up trick that I do all the time and it sits inside my pocket. So now let's just sum it up and get out of here. There you have it, nice and quick. Those are my thoughts on Petty Cash. If you like it, the link's in the description to go to Alex Sam and pick it up. Something I picked up at Blackpool the second I saw it. I, I really like it. I think it's a great routine and a great addition to the multiple out premise. So if you like what it is in the trailer, what you've seen, you can perform it. I hope you enjoy it. And please, if you have any other questions, comment down below. I'll try and answer them without getting any into too much exposure there as well and please give the video a like and subscribe for more reviews coming out very soon thanks again for watching and i'll see you again next time